Hi there, I'm Craig and I am here today to show you the contents of the flower forming foam kit. So what I thought we would do first is uh, we'll go right in and we'll show you uh, one of the uh, ideas in which you can uh, use your, your kit for you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a bit of, uh, quickly a bit matting and layer, and we're just using our glue. And this is going to give us the base in which we can put our forming foams on. So if we pop that on, so it's actually going to go onto a box just here. So we're going to get that done as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take either a home iron or if you've got one of the wee craft irons, we're going to be using them. So let's just pop that into place like so. That's just using our tacky glue. And now that that's done, what we'll just do is we'll just set that to the side. Now within the box, you have your flower dies. So what I'm just going to do for this one is I'm going to take the larger one and then I'm going to take the second larger one and pop them to the side. Now as you'll have seen you get uh, several different colours of the foam so I'm just going to take this really nice peach one and what we're going to do is I'm just going to pop the larger die on top and then we're also going to take this wee, wee one which is the baby pink that I like to call it and then we're just going to run that through our Gemini. So it's the same plates as we would usually use. So we're just doing our plastic shim and our magnetic shim. And we're just going to run that through. And as that comes out, that's going to die cut these flowers. And this is going to enable us to uh, get ready to form them with a bit of heat. So we're going to pull this out now. So if we take this away, you can then see, can you see now we have got that die cut flower. So then we've got exactly the same in the pink, like that. So once we add a bit of heat, that's going to shape them and give us our flower. So I've just taken, it's just a craft iron here. This one here is on your silk setting. If you're using a home iron, then you would uh, put that on setting one to two. So for this one, all that I'm going to do is I've just taken our tweezers here. Then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it on and I'm just setting it on again. This is our craft iron. So I'm just letting that curl a wee bit and I'm just putting a wee bit of pressure in the centre just to help it that wee bit more. Then I've just got a forming tool and a foam mat. So all that I'm going to do next is I'm going to lift this off and I'm going to turn this so it's curved side up. Then I'm just going to add a bit of pressure just in the centre there of the flower and that is going to help as it cools down, that's going to help shape that flower. So we've got that one done and now all we're going to do exactly the same as the last one. So we're just going to bring our craft iron in and again I'm just going to sit that on the top and we're just going to wait and then you can even see that that's starting to curl. So there we go, it's starting to foam into place, into size. Then all that we're going to do again is just lift this off and we're just going to turn that over onto our foam mat and again we're just going to put a bit of pressure in the centre just there. And there we go and then as that cools that then gives you the shape of your flower. Then next, all we're going to do is I'm just going to take some of our white glue again. So this is just our tacky glue. So let me just bring this mat in again. So I'm just adding a wee bit into the centre there. And then all that I'm going to do is take the pink flower and we're just going to settle that in. And you can either take your tweezers or again, you can just take your ball tool. And we're just going to add a bit of pressure just for uh, the two layers just to glue together. Then, also within the box, what you're also getting is a selection of different coloured stamens. So a good way in which you can put them through your flower, and we're just going to place in the centre, and we're just creating a wee hole there, just in the centre. And then I'm just going to enable that just with my finger, just pressing through. Then all that we're going to do is I've just taken, it's just a wee bit of uh, craft wire, and you're just at the side there, and I've just bent that just in half, and then we're just going to feed our stamens through, and we're just going to bend that over, so you've got three in total, 
but bending over you've then got six and then we're just feeding that through so we're just closing these at the bottom and we're just feeding these through those holes that you've just done and then all that we're doing is we're just pulling we can then release that now can you see if I bring this in we've got our flower but if you look inside you can then see your stamens just coming through now you can either add a bit of our collal glue or hot glue to the inside or what you can just do is, which uh, I tend to do, is I'm just using a wee bit of hot glue on the back that just secures the base of the stamens and then all that I'm just doing is this wee excess bit at the bottom, I'm just snipping off and as that starts to cool all I'm just doing is just pressing down just making sure we have got a coverage of hot glue and that just keeps the flowers and the stamens in place like so then within your die set you've also got this wee leaf die so you can be using that on its own as it is don't forget you can use this with your papers as well but as this is a flower forming foam kit all that we're going to do is we're taking them that we've already die cut and once again we're just going to set them on top and we're just going to wait just for that to curl very slightly and at this point this is when you could uh, shape them that wee bit more so move that out the way and then you could be stretching it and then you can also be curling it you can make it a bit wider and fatter just by pulling at the edges just until you're happy with your leaf shape you could add some of our tri-blend pens in the center if you want a wee bit more detail it's entirely up to yourself so once we've done that leaf, and then here's a few more that we have done. So if I bring these one into place, so we've done one, two, and three of the leaves. We're also bringing the flower that we've just created, as well as two others that we've also just created. So if we bring these in, that gives you your selection of leaves and flowers. So it's now just the case of taking one of the small ones which comes in with your die set just here this one just here and all that we've just done is added them to the iron to heat up and then we've just popped a couple of wee petals i'm not sure if you can quite see it that way so just these wee ones that actually come in with your collection too so we've just added three of them into the center bringing back in our box that we pre-made and then don't forget all these extra wee details as well with die cut messages. We've also got ribbons. That all comes in with the flower forming foam kit as well. So if we bring these in, now I'm just going to use my hot glue gun for this one and just place that in a way that you're happy. So let's just snip these end bits off. So take these ones off. And then all that we're going to do place them to see where we're happy with I'm happy bunching the three of them together like so so they're opening up in opposite directions so then just adding some hot glue you could be using your Colal 3D glue gel so pop that on now you can add as many more layers as you wish we've just used uh, one layer of the peach and one layer of the pink but I'll, by all means you could be adding two of the pink to the peach or two pink one peach is entirely up to yourself so all we're going to do is take our leaf add in a bit of hot glue to the back then using our pokey tool all we're going to do is place that under just hold that just for a second till it's in place and then repeat with the final two leaves so pop that one in if you added, wanted to add a bit more decoration around the other sides of the box, you can do. This is just to give you an idea of how you can create a really nice gift box using the form and foam kit. So popping that under. If you have any additional embellishments within your crafty stash, you can be using that as well. Taking these smaller ones and then we're just going to pop them just where the flower and leaves join creating a full flower and as that goes in just take a re die cut sentiment that we've got just there 
Now you could be using your tape pen, your Prolal 3D glue gel, your white glue. We'll just use this one because we have it to hand. Taking our hand tight bow and finishing it off that bow. Now you could be adding colour round the sides, you can be using any of your ink pads round the sides that do a bit of distress in, but that gives you a wee gift box. All these elements come in with the full collection for you to create this box.